Assalamu alaikum and good morning. My name is Asghar Ali and today our topic is Introduction to Welding Procedure Specification. We will discuss and detail the welding variables for the welding procedure specification in our today's topic. Before proceeding to our topic, kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our professional inspection channel to receive further the technical videos for welding and non-destructive testing. What is a welding procedure specification? Welding procedure specification contains the written instructions and is a qualified document which is always supported by a procedure qualification record. Procedure qualification record contains the record of the test weld performed and the result of the test to ensure that the procedure will produce a sound weld. Welding procedure specification addresses the condition under which the weld is to be performed which further refer to as a welding variables and we are going to discuss the welding variables for the welding procedure specification in detail. Welding procedure specification provides the directions to welders to make the weld as per the design. So when the welder is going to make a weld, it is better to supply a copy of the welding procedure specification to the welder and the welder should understand the welding variables for the welding procedure specification. It is the responsibility of each manufacturer, each contractor and each welding organization who control over the welding activities. It is required for welding fabrications and repair of the pressure vessels, piping and tanks. This is the brief introduction of the welding procedure specification document. Before proceeding to discuss about the welding variables, we must know about the arc welding process. Arc welding process are those which uses the heat to join the materials with or without use of the pressure with or without use of the filler metal as required by the applicable code of the end user. Each welding process may have slightly different variables. In ASME section 9, welding variables categorized by the welding process and here is a list of some arc welding process. First one is the small shield metal arc welding Gata is a gas tungsten arc welding and gamma is a gas metal arc welding. Sa is a submerged arc welding and Faka is a flux core arc welding. ESW is electro slag arc welding. EGW electro gas arc welding and PAW is a plasma arc welding. Today we will discuss about the two welding processes SMA and Gata and relevant welding variables SMA and Gata. In a guitar process, the arc is produced between the base metal and the non-consumable tungsten electrode. This process may or may not use the filler metal to make a weld. To protect the weld from the atmosphere or other entrances, the separate shielding gas is applied. In this process, the base metal is positively charged and the non-consumable tungsten electrode is negatively charged so it utilizes the straight polarity and the power source may be AC or DC. The polarity is only related to the DC power source for the AC power source there is no polarity. Submerged arc welding. In submerged arc welding the arc is produced between the base metal and covered electrode. In this process, the shielding is provided by the electrode itself and also the filler is also provided by the electrode itself. In this case, the base metal is a negatively charged and electrode is positively charged for the DC source. 
it may use with the AC but normally we use with the DC power source so it means the polarity for the DC power source will be reverse polarity for this process welding variables there are three types of welding variables essential variables non-essential variables and supplementary essential variables to understand the welding procedure specification we must know about the welding variables because the WPS contains the set of the essential variables non-essential variables and supplementary essential variables the essential variables are those which affect the mechanical properties of weldment. The WPS required requalification when any changes in essential variable. The non-essential variables are those who doesn't affect the mechanical properties of the weldment, does not require the requalification of the WPS, but approval of changes to be addressed and documented. It means if there is any change in the non-essential variable then we didn't need to make a test open again but we need to review the WPS and we have to revise that change in the WPS and need the approval of the concerned body supplementary essential variables applied when specified by the end user or reference code for example when the test open received the impact test supplementary essential variables are applied when the supplementary essential variables are applied they can be treated as essential variable and if there is any change in them the WPS requalification is required this is a one example of the Charpy Vinoj test equipment and this is the test open for the Charpy Vinoj test this is a brief introduction for the welding variables to understand the welding variables a sample WPS for the time small process are taken each WPS contain a specific WPS number with revision number and the date of revision it also contain the sorting PQR number and revision number and date of revision in this WPS the welding process of the guitar and the SMA and the, and the type of the technique or manual. If there is any change from the technique type, it is a non-essential variable as per the GW410.25. It means if there is any change from manual or semi-automatic to automatic or a machine is a non-essential variable. Each WPS is qualified against the applicable code. If there is any change in the applicable code, we should revise and take the steps according to that applicable code. In our case, the applicable code is the ASME section 9 and we will discuss the welding variables as per the ASME section 9. For the SMA process, the QW253 is applicable. And for the guitar process, QW256 is applicable for the welding variables. As for the ASME section 9, the joints is a non-essential variable. In the joints, the change in the joint design is a non-essential variable. The addition of a baking for the guitar process is a non-essential variable and the deletion of the taking for the small process is a non-essential variable. Baking material can be a separate strip or maybe a weld metal in the case of the small process. Retainers. The addition and relation of the retainers are non-essential variable for the data and the small process. The retainers are used to shape the weld pole and hold down the weld metal. It can be metallic, non-fusing metal or non-metallic. In our case for this WPS, here is the V single V butt joint. 
if we want to change from single v to double v it will be a non essential variable but we need to revise our wps as per our the requirement next one is the base metal as per the ASME section 9 qw403 the p number thickness range is a essential variable for the gutta and sumo process and the single pass thickness greater than 13 mm is the essential variable for the sumo process only the p number is assigned to the base metals based on the characteristics such as the composition weldability brazeability and the mechanical properties of the base metals if we want to see the data for the p number we have to refer to the table qw422 and the essential variable qw403.11 if i want to change the p number 1 to p number 2 or p number 2 to p number 1 then it will be a essential variable i need to make the test again the group number will become the supplementary essential variable when the impact test is applied the group numbers are the subset of the p numbers as per the asme section 9 and it is given in the table qw422 next essential variable for the base metal is the qualified thickness range to understand the thickness ranges we consider a test coupon thickness is equivalent to 9.27 mm when there is a no impact test and there is no specific requirements of the pwht then we will follow the admin section 9 qw 451.1 table for the qualified thickness range in this case we have test coupon thickness 9.27 mm the minimum qualified thickness will be 1.5 mm to 18.5 mm as per this table if the thickness is less than 10 mm or 10 mm it will be 1.5 mm to 2t when the impact test is applied to the test coupon then the minimum thickness should be as per the qw403.6 it is supplementary essential variable as per this supplementary essential variable when the thickness of the test coupon is 6 mm or greater than 6 mm then the minimum qualified thickness should be the thickness of the test coupon or the 16 mm whichever is less but the maximum will be the same as per the qw451.1 when the thickness of the test coupon is less than 6 mm and the test coupon received the impact test then the minimum qualified thickness will be half of the base metal thickness and this supplementary essential variable does not apply when wps is qualified with the PWIT above upper transformation temperature or when austenitic or P10H material is solution and yield after welding. Next one is when the PWIT over upper transformation temperature other than the P number 7, 8 and 45 or the material P10H receive the solution annealing then the minimum thickness will be the same as per the QW451.1 but the maximum thickness qualified will be 1.1 times of the test coupon thickness instead of the 2T and it will be essential variable if there is any changes then we have to requalify our WPS single pass thickness greater than 13 mm for the small process is essential variable when if any pass made with a thickness greater than 13 mm we have to see the essential variable qw403.9 
and the maximum thickness limitations will be 1.1 times instead of the 2t. Next one is the filler metals. Following are the welding variables for the gutta and the smoke process. Classification of filler metal is the non-essential variable when there is no impact test and it is supplementary essential variable when there is an impact test for the both processes. F number is essential variables for the cutoff process and also for the small process. F number is the grouping of electrodes based on their usability so that the welder can make a sound weld for the given filler metal. And the table QW432 provides the information for the F numbers. A number is the essential variable for the beta process and also for the small process. The A number is the grouping of the weldment according to their chemical composition and the data can be reviewed as per the table QW442. Size of filler metals is a non-essential variable for the cutoff process and non-essential variable for the small process and supplementary essential variable when the diameter of the electrode is greater than 6 mm for the small process. This supplementary variable applies only when the impact test is required and it does not apply when the WPS is qualified with the PWIT above upper transformation temperature or when austenitic material is solution annealed for after welding. Next one is the thickness range. Thickness range is essential variable for the gutta process and essential variable for the small process. Addition and deletion of the flux is a non-essential variable for the gutta process only and it is not applicable for the small process. Sometimes we add the flux on the face of the joint to improve the quality of the weld. Filler metal product form is essential variable for the gutta process. It means if the filler metal is changed from solid to flux coated or a flux covered or powder type filler metal product form is essential variable and it is not applicable for the small process because the small process always use the covered electrode. Consumable insert is only applicable for the gutta process and is, it is a non-essential variable for the gutta process. Electrode brand is non-essential variable for the gutta process and the small process. Next is the position. The addition of a position is a non-essential variable when there is a no impact test. When there is an impact test, supplementary essential variable QW405.2 is applicable. As per this variable, if there is any change in position to vertical upward position is a supplementary essential variable. Welding progression is a non-essential variable which means if we are changing from uphill to downhill, downhill to uphill is a non-essential variable. Next is the preheat. Preheat has the two variables essential variable and supplementary essential variable essential variable 406.1 defines that if the decrease in the preheat from the qualified temperature is greater than 100 Fahrenheit is the essential variable and when there is an impact test and the increase in the preheat temperature from the maximum qualified is a supplementary essential variable. The preheat maintenance 
with a non-essential variable for all the cases. The preheat maintenance means we don't want to cool down the joint below the minimum preheat temperature and during the welding and after the welding. Next variable is post weld heat treatment. The change in the post weld heat treatment is a essential variable. It means that addition or deletion of the post weld heat treatment is a essential variable. If the post weld heat treatment is performed on upper transformer temperature, now we want to change it, it is also essential variable. And if the post weld heat treatment is performed on lower transformation temperature then it is also essential variable. The time range and the temperature range is a supplementary essential variable when the impact test is applied. Next is the gas. For the gas the shielding is a essential variable when we are using a beta process only. If we are going to change from a single gas to another single gas is essential variable. If we are changing from a mixture gas to another gas is a essential variable. Also their composition is a essential variable. The flow rate is a non-essential variable. The backing gas is the essential variable in the case when the groove welds in P number 41 through P number 49 and all welds of P number 101, P number 10J, P number 10K, P number 51 through P number 53, P number 61 through P number 62 metals. The deletion of the baking gas or a change in the nominal composition of the baking gas from an inert gas to a mixture including not inert gas is an essential variable. If this condition is doesn't apply then it is a non-essential variable. For the trailing gas, it is essential variable for the P number 101, P number 10J, P number 10K, P number 51 through P number 53, P number 61 through P number 62 metals. The deletion of the trailing shielding gas or a change in the nominal composition of the trailing gas from an inert gas to a mixture including non-inert gas or a decrease of 10% or more in the trailing gas flow is the essential variable. If this condition doesn't apply then the trailing is a non-essential variable. Next one is the electrical characteristics. In the electrical characteristics current AC to DC and polarity from negative to positive from straight to reverse is a non-essential variable when there is a no impact test. But when there is an impact test it become a supplementary essential variable. Ampere range and the voltage range is a non-essential variable. The tungsten electrode size and type is a non-essential variable. If the addition or deletion of the pulsing current to the DC source for the cutoff process is a non-essential variable increase in heat input from the qualified heat input is a supplementary essential variable when the impact test is applied. To calculate this variable here is the formula for the heat input. Next is the technique. In this section if there is a change in string to wavy bead or wavy to string bead is a non-essential variable. The change in the orifice, nozzle or cup size for the guitar process is a non-essential variable. The change in the initial and interpass cleaning for the both processes 
is a non-essential variable. It means if we are going to change from the brushing to grinding and grinding to brushing is a non-essential variable. Method of back coaching is a non-essential variable. Oscillation for the automatic guitar process is a non-essential variable. Multiple to single pass is a non-essential variable when there is a no impact test and it is a supplementary essential variable when there is a impact test and this supplementary variable does not apply when the WPS is qualified with the PWIT above the upper transformation temperature or the austenitic or P10H material is solution annealed after the welding. Single to multi electrode for the guitar process is a non essential variable when there is a no impact test and it is a supplementary essential variable when there is a impact test. This supplementary variable does not apply when the WPS received the PWIT above the upper transformation temperature or stenetic or P10H material is solution annealed after the welding. Addition and deletion of the pinning is a non-essential variable. The pinning is a blow of a hammer to reduce the residual stresses. It should not be applied to the first layer and the final layer of the weld. Close to out chamber for the guitar process is a essential variable when a change from closed chamber to out of chamber conventional torch welding in P number 51 through P number 53 metals but not vice versa. Use of a thermal process is essential variable for the materials P number 11A and P number 11B and the thickness less than 16 mm. It means the grooving and the back gouging of the base metals. At the end of this the WPS there is a secondary box to sign the WPS after the review of the WPS. Thanks for watching Professional Inspection Channel. For query and feedback, kindly see the below email. Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. I hope this video provides you awareness about the welding variables and the WPS. Thank you very much.